This video is focused on using a program called ImageJ to analyze an SDS page gel. Today we're going to go over how to measure intensity of bands in an SDS page gel. So we're going to be using a program called ImageJ which can be downloaded from the internet and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open up my image it's called this image here and I'm going to make it a little bigger and so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle around the uh, the lane where we want to measure the gel intensity and so the first thing we're going to do so we're going to click on this rectangle tool and they're just going to draw a this rectangular box here and you want to make sure it gets right in the middle it doesn't have to cover the whole um, band of the of the lane but most of it and then we're going to do a uh, hit control or command one okay then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to without hitting any other keys, we're going to just drag that um, rectangle over to the next lane and then we're going to hit then we're going to hit control 2 or command 2. Go there, command 2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the same thing all the way to the end of the gel here. So I'm going to drag, command 2, drag, so on and so forth. So you see what I'm doing here. Again, each time going in the middle of the lane, so we're covering everything, and all the way to that last lane on the end. And now I'm going to hit Command 3 when I'm done. Okay. All right, so now I've got my histogram. So this is basically a uh, a graphical representation of that that gel. So I'm going to move this over and I'll bring bring the gel back. So that's what we're we're interested in this very heavy band and um, you know we know that that where that band is. So I can look down the lane. I can see this band here. That's the the most prominent peak here in the histogram. That is what we're interested in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this line tool. It's already actually been selected for me. Then I'm going to make a best guess. I'm going to draw a line under the curve because what we're going to do is we're going to measure area under the curve. So I'm going to go over here and then that's my line. And I, I want to make sure there's no gap between the line and the curve. You'll see why that's important later. Um, so let's say in this case I'm going to I'm not I'm going to mess up on purpose and just draw the line like this. We'll see what happens with that one. Come back to that in a minute. Do the same on that line. Draw there. And you just have to use your best judgment on these. Go to here and then here. There. Almost done. There, and there, there, and I think this is the last one. We're going to not do this. This one we're going to assume is zero. It would be very difficult to draw the line under that. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to use another tool called the Magic Wand tool. I'm going to click on here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to click there and what that brings up is the value that's under the curve so this is this first area 173 is the value and it's our it's it's an area that's calculated by the program so I'm just going to click in here that'll bring up the area under that and you'll see it's increasing now because the, the peaks are getting bigger so I'm just going to keep doing that here keeps increasing and this one's kind of slowing down a little bit so you notice we're kind of we're, we're at the max scale here 
Um, so I'm going to click this one. It's going to be a little bit higher probably. So starting to taper off. Now this is the one where we had, I didn't fully attach that line. So let's see what happens. Wow. So now we've got a really huge number because it's including this whole area of all the peaks. So that's why it's important to always attach the lines between the two points in the curve. And we'll do this last one. Okay. So there you have your values. And so you can take all of these and basically select them and put them into Excel and create your graph.